Greetings. Okay, so this is going to be our quickie tarot vibes. And I am recording this on a Friday, which is Venus Day. So happy Venus Day to you guys. I'm sending y'all some love and energy, some healing energy. I'm going to go ahead and use um, these two self-care cards. They're two different self-care oracle cards. I'm going to pull on these cards to see what are the messages that the divine has for you. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, you got dream bigger. This kind of looks like a globe, like a snow globe or something. Because I have been picking up messages about like, you know, because I don't really do holidays like that. I mean, I do. I love like this time of year to an extent. Like I love the smell of it. I, like it's nostalgic for me i love holiday music i am not gonna lie like it's something about holiday music lights and the tree decorations just beautiful things i love to like decor i love you know that and the warmth and stuff you know just the inner child like obviously we know santa claus is not real these holidays is just you know some some mess whatever but i could tap into the inner child aspect of it and i feel like that message of because i was getting a couple of years ago and even this year a reminder to almost like write out like a little bit of like a not literally a Christmas list but like as a child would write a Christmas list about the things that you um, are believing God for divine spirit um, what it is that you really desire and wish for it to manifest in in this child like heart where you're not limiting yourself or saying I can or I can't do that or let me water it down you know being really honest with yourself as a child like when children put things on their list they just write what they want I want this I want that and they're being really honest and they're not thinking oh I can't have this or I might not be able to get it and maybe as you get older you understand that you, you know your parents may not be able to always get everything or afford or whatever that your, your situation may have been but when you're asking your divine, your heavenly um, divine source for what it is that you need, there are no limitations, right? Especially if it's of your highest good. So number 25 is dream bigger. Do not limit yourself with small picture goals because of insecurity or fear of failure. Start building what you really want and co-creators will follow. Okay. Another thing too this is just a message that i'm getting just a sideline that for some of you not to to freak anyone out you got to use your discernment but i am getting that um you need to wear or you're being encouraged i can't tell you what you need to do but <laughs> you're being encouraged um whether you're led to do this or not or if you decide to do it or not to wear bright colors or wear colors not dull colors like too much grays or too much black me and myself I love me some black clothes. I mean, it is what it is. I'm sure everybody probably likes wearing colors, um, dark colors, excuse me, or neutral colors. Um, maybe even like pinks and purples and yellow, something with a color, a pop of color or blues, where it's not just dark colors. I'm getting that for a reason that there's something to that. And Spirit's not wanting me to, to disclose why Spirit is saying that. Because <clears throat> for some of you have people that don't mean you well. And just getting this energy of like cloaking and hiding. And wear more like colors if you feel led to. Or it could even be a piece of jewelry or a stone that has a um, color to it. All right, let's see. Message, Holy Spirit, self care, clean your space, write your gratitude list. Yeah, so if you've been led to clean all of a sudden or make space, there is a reason for that, and also, Spirit is you know encouraging you to write down the things that you're grateful for, maybe in the beginning of the morning, at the end of the day. Um, you don't have to have a fancy like journal or anything around that. You could just have, um, could even be in your notepad and your phone or something. But 
it changes the the frequency of your mindset to do that you have number 55 so you know fives right now what you're grateful for the changes maybe specifically the changes that you're grateful for um oftentimes like i don't want to be one of those people that only acknowledge god or acknowledge my spiritual team for um the things that they they've done for me and helped me with but for also the tough times and also the struggle like the not i shouldn't even say the struggle but <laughs> being appreciative and grateful for those challenging times and moments that i may have had because it helped develop me and also bring me closer to god you know so could be the challenges that you you know if you're genuinely grateful you don't you can't force yourself to to feel that or to believe that ground yourself and spend time with animals so if you have pets where you're out in nature sitting i feel like there's some type of message or if you see animals like especially if you guys like live near the woods or something why am i showing the cards this way um, especially if you live in the woods or something like that, there's all type of animal messengers that you may see, or you live in the desert, you know what I mean? Like, or wherever you live, really, um, wherever there's animals out in nature, whether it's insects, whether it's the birds, whatever, they may be animal messages out there for you. Okay. And sitting with yourself and grounding yourself could also bring about some type of, um, download around, the promises that you truly desire and seek for yourself what are your true wishes desires hopes and dreams prayers you know sitting with yourself and grounding your heart what's really in my heart what is it that i really want what is it that i really need some of you guys could be cancer libra venus signs pay it forward be the answer to someone else's prayer. Helping others can be the quickest way to help others or help ourselves. All right. Helping others can be the quickest way to help ourselves. So definitely around this time of year, if you're watching this during the holidays, you know, giving back to people in some way, um, paying it forward. When I heard that initially, I thought about my mom was at the grocery store and this was like in the past, but she was at the grocery store and it was um, people paying each other's like for like, oh, I got it. Like everybody in the line was just, it was like a ripple effect. Like everybody in the line was like paying something for someone else, whatever their, their checkout was in the checkout line at the store. Um, so for some of you, it could literally be that like you paying for someone's um, groceries, you know, um, or, you know, it could be anything, but just you giving back to some way is also you helping yourself. It's helping you to heal your heart chakra and getting the heart. So I hope that that resonates with you guys. I'm going to leave it at that. This was completely Oracle. I wasn't even thinking about this arrow, but it is what it is. Much love as always. Be blessed. Be safe. Take care. Peace.